A small group looking for a second floor open core base site with offline and online protection. Look no further. The practical 2 by one startup has all the necessary deployables while still being open and having breach peaks. The main entrance to your open core is guarded by three auto turrets, two of which are behind ramps, making it frustrating for raids to breach your side, keeping your boxes full for longer. In the event of an offline raid, your loot will be safe inside a pixel gap loot room and two unlootable lockers. If you liked everything you heard, the build and upkeep cost will be on screen now. I go live every single day on the Turtle Web YouTube channel, so come and stop by. Uh, the base tour will be playing right now. Heading to 1 hour 4 x TCs, we can see the upkeep for the Y gaps. Xor TCs are protected by two reinforced glass windows and one garage door. The main TC ever gets broken during the build up like so will just sketch our TC, allow you to replace your main TC. Once your dog plays the two triangle frames like so, we'll reconnect everything back together. Head to our simple but effective compound gate, we have peaks out and into your compound. There's four of these connected to each external TC and each one has two drop boxes, two auto turrets, with additional auto turrets on top of our compound bedroom, meaning there's 360 degree coverage with auto turrets inside your compound. This is what Raiders will see when they're going up against your base. And these, will the, and these are the angles you have of Raiders when using your breach peaks. You can, as you can tell, your compound bedroom connects back to your freehand wide gap that connects back to your main base. And your compound bedroom has two beds, a locker, a ground and joint accessible vending machine, and a really good head glitch wall spot to retake your compound in an online scenario. Headed to one out of two entrances, you can see we've got the free triangle mobility chute. Good visibility at airlock and our inner layer. The inner layer is pretty cool as it has two beds, a locker is quite open. This is where your breach piece are. It's a fed there with this peak here. And let's say you spawn the beast beds here and you go get ready from the other side. You can quite simply just run to the other side of the base and start defending. Well, it's pretty cool. Coming back to our main base or come back to our decor of the base, you can see that the two squares are your loot rooms with the middle square be your loot room as well, holding your main TC. I tried to make this base a single TC base, just so it's easy and fast to build. Here we have a tier 2, what could be a tier 3, more than enough furnaces, sleeping bags and deployables. Obviously more deployables could fit along here, but I tried to leave as open as possible. Head to the jump up next to our front door. You see we have more beds here with another locker and peaks onto your open core. These are really good ankle biters and the further you are back, the less radius can see of you. Then head up the jump up here, it takes you to another entrance inside your open core that's protected by two auto turrets. But let's go back to our free triangle mobility shoot. Then up here you can see we've got peaks back into our inner layer. And heading up, you can see we have our main entrance into our open core. The main entrance is actually guarded by three auto turrets, two right behind ramps, making it frustrating to deal with, and making it hard for race to either breach inside your open core. As you can tell, it's a really good open core. I tried to make it as open as possible so raiders can't hide behind deployables, making the turrets more effective. So, so as you can tell, both deployables are outside, with two vending machines here. More than enough boxes and more than offline protection with these pixel gap loot rooms that are in the dead center of the base, meaning that they're least likely going to be affected by rock splash. Then up here we also have our lootable lockers. Uh, sometimes you have to put something inside the vending machine to get access to the locker. One on each side, and you can even hide these in other parts of the base. As you can see, there's a roof here, and this roof gives you really nice peaks onto your shooting floor. And at the start of wipe, counts as an early game shooting floor. That takes you straight to your bedroom. But let's go back to the free triangle mobility shoot. Here we have more peaks onto your open core, so if raiders do raid through this part of the base. You can spawn the upstairs bag, work your way down, then shoot them in the back. You can store a battery here or a locker, anything works. Then here we've got another peak onto shooting floor, same here. There we've got another way into our bedrooms. 
As you can tell, bedroom is quite open with no doors as these turrets work together to defend the bedroom. And even if the raiders do break each turret, this battery will become quite useless, assuming they bulk all the other turrets around the base. Head to a wide gaps, it gives you some really nice peaks in and out of your compound. A really nice head glitch potential. Ah, this sign for the new crouch meta in mind. Jump on top of the bed allows you to crouch while shooting the further away. Here we got your breach peaks, so if raiders do breach into your open core or they try to ladder up, you can get a free shot onto them. I opted to put doors here, and you get to choose where you take the fight with the radar. If you have the same scare as me, you can line up your shot through the window here, open up the door, and get a free shot. You can do it further away as well. Something cool about these heli peaks are that from down here, the heli peaks, then when you jump up, they turn into compound peaks. Well, wow, pretty cool. Same design with this heli peaks, jump up, turns into compound peaks. We'll do one more loop around the shooting floor. Really nice shooting floor with a mixture of freehand wide gaps or just normal wide gaps. Heading up the jump up here is another way onto the roof. Another vending machine and more peaks. It's a really nice roof with 360 degree coverage of turrets. Four beds here where I have another vending machine and two lockers. These vending machines here are meant to um, flex loot. Two more beds here. I mean there's six beds on your roof. You can easily add more around. The heavy and more peaks in and out of your compound. With wider peaks here allow you to see anyone that's hugging the wall. Same principle over here, but peaks allow you to see if anyone's hugging the compound wall. And then you have protect the peaks here, allow you to shoot anyone in or out of your compound. If you like everything you just saw, the build and upkeep cost will be on screen now. I go live every single day on the Turtle Web YouTube channel, so make sure you comment and subscribe. And the build video will be playing right now. In an attempt to not make the build video too long, I'm going to place out zero deployables. If you want an idea where the deployables should go, rewatch the tour and see where I place everything. This is what your uh, starter base should look like. It's just one, two square foundations, one triangle foundation where your TC will go, with a window and two ways out, making it harder for you to get door capped on the start wipe. You can, have, you can do one at a time. I'm going to do this side first. You want to go two triangle foundations, one square, wall off the square and the roof. I place a double door frame here for your door to go. This will be your second front door at the start of wipe. You want to do the same thing, but you want to put the double door here. Wall this off and then wall off the square. This will be your second loot room of wipe. Just place all doors all around here. What you want to do now, at the front door you want to place a square, square foundation. Triangle foundations either side. Now two triangle foundations, another square and another triangle. I'm going to wall this off here and this is where our early game battery or early game locker can go. This example one is going to use the early game battery just in case you're a clan and you want to get your turrets up as soon as possible. On the other side however this is going to be your shelf to the roof or your drop out to the roof. I'm just going to uh, wall it off and out or just place a door for the time being. We'll add a ceiling onto here, we'll add this for later on. This is a really important to add for later on. Then here, we're going to add two triangles, two half walls, two windows on either side. Then we'll add two roofs here and this is what will be like your early game shooter floor breach peak. Breach peaks are essentially just a shooter floor in your first floor, making it so good at the start of wipe, stopping anyone from door capping you. I'm going to flip these around as well. Then I guess I'll show you how to place the windows here. At the start of wipe, this is what your base will look like. I highly doubt no one soft side this, and if you really want to, you can just flip it around. It really doesn't make a difference. 
what we want to do now is actually make our pixel gap bunker. So going off the breach speed foundation, I'm gonna go five more square uh, triangle foundations with a square foundation, remove everything. Square foundation, double door frame, half wall, build up, two triangles, a half wall here, our great sheet metal. Sand on one of these rocks here, slowly look up to place a square foundation connected back to the triangle foundation. The sand on this rock here, slowly looking up to place a square foundation connected back to the square foundation here. Upgrade it to wood to make sure you have the pixel gap. Remove the excess twig, then upgrade everything to sheet metal or to the grid you have available. What we'll do here is actually place on our boxes for the pixel gap loot room, making sure they have no skins on them. As it's hard, as it's much more easier to see the pixel gap or see the box inside the pixel gap if it has a skin. And done. At the start of wipe, this is your top down protection into your core. And this is where your pixel gap loot rooms will stay. The gap is quite big, you want to make the gap smaller, only go out by one square next time. But it's 50 50 chance if the pixel gap bunker will actually work by going out by one square. I don't know why I cite that, it's pretty weird. What we'll do next is get our doors out and we're going to make our free triangle mobility shoot. Let me make sure I have symmetry on. Pretty simple, just three triangles like so. Two windows on either side. I guess you. I guess I'll put the window here as well. Window, window. Put a door here to make a simple airlock. Put a, a frame here. Put our jump up here, making sure to put a garage door here to just increase the raid cost. And making it so raiders will have to break the garage door to use this peak against us. Same principle up here, we want to do all of this like so, so raiders will have to break the door to use the peak against us. Definitely at the start of wipe. They're done. This is what your starter base will look like. A lot of people in the comments were telling me I should show you guys how to make the external TCs as soon as possible. So that's what we'll do now. So TCs are really easy to make in this space. We'll start off with the ones at our front door. I'm going to try speed run this, so let's get ready guys. Three square foundations, one triangle foundation. Half moons all the way back. Three square foundations, half moon, and then three foundation like so I'll upgrade everything you have to keep we want to keep all of this remove everything else we're gonna place our TC first there we could just get to TC so like so we'll, symmetry doesn't place our TCs for you so I need to fly to the other side to place down the TC Two half walls for the mini this uh, mini tutorials this will TC to work. Then we'll do something like this. Window window. Double door frame. Square frame. They're just triangle frames connected back. To make our second XL TC, exactly the same principle. Oh, oh it's a bit different. It's three triangles foundations, two squares, one triangle. Half moon back. Square, square, square. Triangle, triangle, triangle. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. I'll upgrade everything that you need to keep. Like so. Move the excess uh, twig. Once again, symmetry does place on TCs. So I need to fly to the other side to place on the TCs. Fix this. If what happened to you, we'll wipe just a symmetry glitch. Remember, they sound the half walls for mini disconnect, mini tutorials disconnect with TC to work. Done. That's your XO TCs all up and running, making sure that you don't get griefed. Make sure to lock your main TC, otherwise, these XO TCs are useless. A lot of you guys were also telling me that you like to build compounds at the start of your wipe. So I'll quickly show you how to build your compound gate now. Pretty simple. That's what I love about these compound gates. Like I said at the tour, effective and simple. Don't know what this. This will be your turret pods and your drone pods. You'll do the same over here. 
got a place on what place I lost. Door, one, two, door, door, door. We use sheet doors here as they're faster to open, and you don't want to be waiting 10 years to get out of your compound gate with garage doors. Done. Now I'm building this if I'm building this for the people I want to build a compound to start a wipe. Boss, they can. And for that, we're going to have to build the Y gaps right now, or the freehand Y gaps. So off your breach tree foundation, go another triangle foundation, one square foundation, two low walls. I'll put on the crosshair for this, so it's easy for you to see. Look at this triangle right here. We want to look in the middle of this triangle right here. Remove, remove. Done. Symmetry do symmetry really does mess up the uh, free hand wide gaps. So on some of the sides, the free hand wide gaps might look a bit ugly because of symmetry. That's just symmetry for you guys. Now what we want to do here. With this double door frame here it connects back to the main base. Now what we want to do. Is actually go. Triangle foundation. Triangle foundation. Square foundation. Triangle foundation. Double door frame stone. Remove. 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 And this will be your compound bedroom. What we want to do is window. Double door frame. Window. Double door frame. Wall. Wall single door, ceiling, turret pod. I'll go show you guys how to place on the beds because I know a lot of you guys struggle to place on the beds in this. What well, is understandable is a pretty, well, not hard place, but you just need to be pretty precise. So try to place your bed as far back as possible as you can. The further back, the better. Say with your locker, try to place it as far back as you can. As uh, far back this way as you can. Then place your bed in. We don't want nothing to stick out like that. We want to make sure nothing sticks out. Like so. We want to come to the back. Then we want to place our vending machine in. We want to push in our vending machine as far as we can. Otherwise the vending machine will break. Uh, we do not want our vending machines to break. Like so. Keep, keep in mind. If you don't push your vending machine far enough. You can't loot the lockers through the vending machine. So make sure to just lock your lockers. But if you do give enough space to push the vending machine farther enough in, you should be fine. Then because we don't have a compound down, we're going to place a reinforced glass window so no one can just come in and loot our locker. Done, now we can just quickly do our compound. Pretty simple, one wall here, making sure the this part of the wall doesn't go inside of here so you can still walk up the ramp. I thought the place was a bit wrong, but it should affect nothing. Then, this is the only tricky placement. Uh, yeah, it's not really that tricky. Then this way your large furnace will go. Large furnace, the large furnace, I'll quickly just show you guys. Slap in the back of the corner here. Then you're fine. Let me half the symmetry again. Now we've got our compound down, because I know a lot of you guys will tell me that you always get down the compound at the start of wipe. We'll start working on our open core. Of course, pretty simple. You just want to quickly wall off this, like so. Wall off this. Wall off this with half walls as well. I should give you a bird's eye view. Just want to section everything off with half walls. Then section everything off with full walls. It's a double door, double door. Like so. Gotta place two garage doors here. Open them up. Oh, four garage doors. And then this is where our furnaces are gonna go. I know some of you guys struggle with the furnace place as well, but as long as you place everything as far back as you can, you should be fine. Here will be your entrance into the open core. I'll use single doors here. Oh, well, before you place our single doors, I'm actually gonna place on the doors here real quick. Place down. Well, just copy the bullet I'm doing here. Then here, I'm going to quickly place down the three boxes. You can use a skin here, but I'm just going to use no skin because I'm not about to get a spray can out or anything. Then done. You have three boxes behind here. 
then here's another way into your open core so just put a single door here then we'll quickly wall this off again then this will be your ramp peaks looking into the open core then we'll wall this off like so if your open core looks like from a bird's eye view then we could just place floors to section everything off now let's quickly sort out this part of the base now the base is pretty simple to do copy everything I'm doing and you'll be fine this way your door was before door 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 yes I'll show you how to place the blowables here it's just pretty simple door or um, locker door 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 I want to make sure this door faces inwards as well, so it does, uh, so the gear bit does uh, stick outside. Then done. Then here where your unlootable locker will go, I'll quickly show you how to make the unlootable locker. Very simple and very effective. Place on locker. Tell your team to get clothes on it. Place on door. Then place on the vending machine in front of it. Vending machine can be used as storage. Then this could be your early game shooter floor type thing right here. Give you really good piece to your compound. After we just wall all of this off. Like so, so one garage door, then one single door. Now we want to quickly wall this off because we don't want people to ladder onto our roof and use the peaks against us. So. Half walls here, full walls like so, so half walls here, full walls here, then just wall all of this off. On this side when you wall it off, what you want to do, you actually want to place a um, half height floor here, or half height wall here, then a window here. With the window I do recommend to place the abrasion down. And then this way your battery will go late game. Then we'll place a ceiling here. I know I said in the build video that you don't want to place doors here so the turrets can shoot any raiders. But at the start of wipe you don't want people to use this against you. But after the start of wipe, after you got your turrets and everything down, you get rid of this part. It's the same now we're going to quickly add a roof onto this. Like so, then add a window in the middle. Quickly open up all the doors. Once you guys get turrets on, you could easily remove all the doors that you place here and just place on the turrets. Making sure you place the turrets at the angle, at this angle here. Might be wondering why we do this, why we place the turrets at the angle. Because place the turret here, it has hardly no vision, but we place the turret on this side, it has a vision into mid. Basically, we want the turret to have the most visibility onto the middle of our. Open core. That also allows you to place lockers on here. I think it is easy to place the locker first. Got one locker there, flat to the other side. One locker there. Okay, if we look, because we angle the turrets, all, every single turret looks into the middle. Same with these turrets, so they both look into the middle. Over here, window, window. It done. So what we want to do now is just wall off this. Upgrade all this shimo. Carry over our free triangle jump up. This could be another battery room here if you really wanted it to. Carry over the jump up here with garage door. I prefer the garage door to face towards me in this scenario, just because it's actually easier here. Do I do the jump up here? Here, half wall, low wall. Now a garage door here. Double door, single door. If I could find a single double door right here, but I'll visit to a window. Maybe I'll place two garage doors here. 
One, two. Well, your base will be looking like at the start of wipe. Make sure you place this here so without it, people can look at your large battery when you do place it here. But with it, people can't see your large battery. Okay, now we can start working on our wagaps. But with these wagaps first, so three triangles. Square foundation, square foundation. Triangle, triangle. Remove, remove. The build up with frames. This half wall here, make sure you keep she metal. And everything else goes go to stone. I'll carry on with the rest of later on. Then this side here. Um triangle triangle. Triangle triangle. They build everything up. Square triangle triangle square square. Make sure you place the square connected back to the main base here. Then we also need to build up here. Then make sure the triangles connect back to the Y gaps here. Then make sure the window connects to the Y gap here. So to give you this peak looking straight down here. What point of that? Then we will do the jump off right here. Like so. Over here, triangle here, square here. The default our free hand wide gaps will go. Very simple. Once again, it might look a bit odd because symmetry will most likely mess this up. In a real web, you would have symmetry, so you should be fine. Two. What your base should look like, and then. It's pretty simple, it's just all windows with one ramp. They just add a ceiling to everything. However, before you add the ceiling over here, before you add this, before you add this ceiling right here, make sure you place on these roofs. It's not impossible to place it down with the ceiling there, but it's much more harder to place it down when the ceiling is there. Fine, well, you can add the ceiling in, but you're done. Might as well work on the jump up here. This is a turret pod. There's a visibility. And this is a drawing only vending machine spot. Done. Then here we can start adding roofs here. Like so. Then over here, we can add just normal roofs facing ours. So here we want to upgrade these Shimo and just do the build up like so. Where your lockers will go here. Lock on, lock on, door, door. There's a door here and that's where your vending machine will go. It's from side from the outside. Place a vending machine like this, so we want to rotate it around. Your rays will have to break through this door to get access to our vending machine. Get two beds inside of here. Coming down here, we want to place our locker inside of here. I use doors because doors you'll need hammers to open up the window. Doors are way better than windows in this scenario. I want to do that. Same principle over here. Done. Then I guess I'll show you guys where windows go. Horizontal and vertical windows both work here. But you most likely use these um, horizontal windows. As the meta is crouching nowadays, these horizontal windows are so much more easier to use while crouching. I'll give you way better angles. Vertical windows are still good to look more far away or look at stuff further away. But you will see a lot more horizontal windows in shooting floors nowadays. Done. Pretty sure this is almost everything done with the base. Yes, I'll show you this part here. You want to do it perfect. This is how you have to do it. You have to place, uh, make sure you have to place just twig walls to line everything up. 
need to make sure all doors are underneath are closed. Where doors are, or definitely when garage doors are open, makes the hitbox is much bigger. So if you see, so if you're always struggling to place on a box or something, it's probably because there's a garage door open with a bigger hitbox, block you from placing the door or block you from placing whatever you're trying to place. Done, then we just want to place our two vending machines here. You can place them much closer together if you wanted to. That's a bit too close. But yeah. Which has mainly the base done. I'll do one more quick fly around, but hopefully you guys will build the base. Hopefully the video wasn't too confusing. The video was too confusing. Um, make sure to let me know in the comments and I'll come help you guys out if you ever need. Yeah, hopefully you guys will like and subscribe. I'm pretty sure I've everything. Rewatch the base tour video if you want to know where deployables go. Or where I did or why I chose to place deployables. I'll further more to do. I'll be leaving. Bye guys.